Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. Thank you guys for joining me today. My name is Wendy Lee and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the US. I'm a few minutes early today with my live paper crafting with you. So I'll give everybody just a moment to pop on in, but I wanted to come in and say hello before we start playing around. Um, I am going to be featuring a couple of different stamp sets today. So we're gonna look at the Art Gallery stamp set which is one of the gorgeous new um, two-step stamps in our mini catalog, January to June mini catalog. And then we're also going to combine it with the beautiful fonts of the Heal Your Heart stamp set. This is one of the sets that you can earn for free during our celebration promotion now through uh, February 28th of 2021. So depending on when you're watching this video, you may not know when I'm talking about. So let's see, what are we going to make today? I'm going to share with you how to create a this project here. This was a card I created for a recent swap. So I think it's super simple, but really pretty. All right, so this is what we're going to do today. So all right, let me switch the camera over. And let's check it out to make sure we are good on Facebook. Well, that didn't work. Try again. Why can I not do what I wanted to do? Well, it's being a little bit uh, testy today. There we go. Now I've got it. So let me find us back on Facebook and make sure we are streaming in the correct location anyway. Oh, hi, Connie. So glad you're here. Carmen, good to see you. Oh, good, good, good. I'm so glad you guys are popping in. All right, we will go ahead and get started. It is finally 1230. Um, so again, I'm a little bit early today, but we're gonna jump on in and get started with this beautiful, beautiful card. All right, fast and easy. So let me move this out of the way so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So the art gallery stamp set that we're going to start with here, this is being featured in this month's all star tutorial bundle. So when you place a $50 order or more for me during the month of January, you can earn the uh, tutorial bundle for free and it's uh, demonstrators from around the globe and some of them are super actually all of them are super talented. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know how I got in. I'm just so excited to be in there with all of these fabulous demonstrators. So you can also earn it for, uh, yeah, you can earn it for free with a $50 purchase. If you have another demonstrator you purchase from, or if you live outside the US, you can get it for $15 for the tutorial bundle. And of course, if you're on my team, my diamonds demonstrator team, you get it for free. We love free. All right, let's start with our thick, very vanilla card base. Now in the description of the video, I've already put in the dimensions. I will try to say them as we go as well, if I've got my little cheat here. So of course, this is five and a half by eight and a half, and it is thick, very vanilla cardstock. So I like to use the thick vanilla and thick white for my card bases. I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of paper and we're actually gonna stamp the inside of the card first. And the reason I'm doing this is because if I mess it up, I can flip it and um, maybe hide it. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. I'm going to use Misty Moonlight ink. Love this color, it's one of my favorites. And I'm using this cluster flower image from the stamp set. So we'll go ahead and stamp this down. So I just wanna add that to the corner to bring the design to the inside. So pretty. And then let's grab, oh, I'm still gonna use this color. We're gonna grab the Sorry for Your Loss sentiment and we'll stamp this right down here. Maybe if I can get it straight. Not too bad, I'll take it. All right, so that is the inside of our card base. So I'm gonna set this aside while I stamp the next layer. So I've got two additional pieces of very vanilla cardstock. So what I've done, you can either leave these together and then cut it apart after you stamp it, or you can stamp them separately. So let me bring that card front back in so you guys can see that again. So I've got a strip up here and then I've got a piece down here. 
So it, you really can do it either way. So the way I've listed the dimensions is this is five and an eighth by three and an eighth. And then this is five and an eighth by three quarters. So again, you could leave these together, stamp the whole layer, and then come back and cut it apart if you prefer. It's really entirely up to you. So let me go ahead and start by stamping this first layer here. So I'm just going to add these floral images around the base of it. Kind of nest those in a little bit. And then this one, I went up a little bit higher because I've got that curve of that die that's going to be on this part. All right, so there's my lower section. And then let's go ahead and stamp this upper one. So I'm just going to turn the flowers so that I get little different images across the top there. Then it doesn't look like it's all the same stamp set or stamp image, although it's pretty either way. Nice. All right. I will need this pad one more time, but I'm going to hold off and move that out of the way because I feel like I'm already making a big mess. All right. So those are my layers right there. So let's bring in a layer of crumb cake cardstock. So I've kept this kind of neutral in my tones. This is uh, five and a quarter by four inches. And I'm going to bring in my stamp and seal and go ahead and adhere this layer right down to the very bottom there. And hopefully I'm in camera somewhat and not too terribly crooked. All right, so what I'm going for is I'm trying to get somewhat of an equal distance on these three edges as I go, flip that over. See, I, already, I cheated, I already have my dimensionals on the back. So I've got that layer down. And then this layer is gonna go on after we put the next piece on. So I've taken another piece of very vanilla and this was, uh, let's see, I think this was five and an eighth by three and a quarter. And then what I did, let me pull this in because I've already pre-cut it. Don't tell me I already lost the dies. All right, these curvy dies. Yes, curvy dies. So this was part of a, an early release that we had actually available um, last month with the curvy variety bundle, but this die and the coordinating stamp set are still available or are now available, they're part of the mini catalog. So I just laid this down and ran this through the die cutting machine and it added the curved edge and all these little dots. Super cute, right? I love this. So you've got lots of different borders that you can use. So this one's gonna cut that, um, that design and then this one is kind of an overlay. So it's gonna cut out these little bitty you know, leaf things. Um, and actually, I think it kind of embosses it a little bit. I actually haven't played with that one. I'll have to, I'll have to run that through. I think that's a little bit more of an embossed image. And then um, this is uh, going to cut out some of the images from the dies that are also give you something that you can put along the border. So, all right, move that out of the way. So we've got this piece here. So before we assemble this, we want to go ahead and stamp our sentiment on here. So I'm pulling in the wishing I could heal your heart. We're going to stamp that again in misty moonlight. I'm just staying with one color here. Let's see. Maybe it'll be straight. Yay! So far, so good. I just never know what I'm going to get into. <laughs> okay. Now, you could lay this layer on flat if you'd like, or you can pop it up. Oh, you know what I should have done before I stamped that? I bet I'm going to have to redo this because look. Now, when I lay this on, I didn't get it low enough. So I have two choices. I can either recreate this piece or I don't think I wanna flip it over because I don't think it's gonna look right. No, my die cutting doesn't really look right. So I'm not gonna flip that over. I could cut this narrower or I could slide that down. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it down and let it come down a little further than I had originally intended um, for it to be so that I can clear that sentiment um, since I did not totally forgot to put this layer on before I stamped. So live and learn, right? All right, let's go ahead and pop this up because I do want this raised. You don't have to raise it up if you don't want to. If you like things a little more flat for mailing, that's fine. But I am going to pop these dimensionals on. So do you guys forget to do stuff like I just did? It's always something that we can fix somehow, right? I try not to have to recut if I don't have to. 
Sometimes that's just what you really want it to be. So you recut, but I like to salvage whatever I can. All right. So I think I guessed I was about a quarter inch lower than I should have been or too high, I mean. Let me lay this back down and see before I kind of secure that. Yeah, that'll work okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and secure those down, give it a little pressure. Now I can apply this strip. And I'm just gonna use stamp and seal for this. All righty, I'm gonna do this upside down so I can see my edge. Cause I still wanna try to get it equal distance on those three sides. All right, all right, so we made it work. Perfect. All right, next we wanna bring in some linen thread. And let's see, I think I used about, oh, I didn't write down my cheat. All right, so if this is about five and a quarter times two, 10 and a half plus another nine, I would say 19 to 20 inches of twine is what you're gonna use, best guess. But I like to leave mine on the spool when I can and tie it because I feel like, I, I don't know, it's a little easier for me. It saves me a little bit of um, waste in between the tying maybe. I don't know, in my head it does. Great. Tie that little bow, get that where I want it. And then now I can just kind of slide it in place on where I want that bow to fall. And then we'll clip this end off. Got a little twisty in that, that ribbon there. Now, sometimes I will, if, if this makes you crazy, because since this is on a spool, it, it has that memory of being around that spool. If that makes you crazy, I will sometimes spritz my um, ribbons and take them down and iron them. I don't like to do that because I'm kind of lazy, but um, it does work really well if you need to do it. Okay, so now we're ready to just uh, put this right on front of the card. So what I love about this is that you could change the colors and change your sentiment. And this could be, you could use this for anything. Birthday, a wedding, wouldn't it be a nice wedding card? Um, thinking of you, you know, really this is super, super versatile. And I think this element, this curved element adds a nice fun touch to it as well. So fast and easy, right? Okay, so the Heal Your Heart stamp set. I did tell you about that, I think, but let me make sure. So this stamp set again is Celebration. It is, you can only get it for free and it's with a $50 purchase during our celebration event, which is now through February 28th of 2021. And then I did want to mention to you guys that um, if you place $150 or more in orders, and that doesn't have to be on one order, it could be on 75 orders, it doesn't matter how many orders. Um, if you get to $150 during our celebration promotion, I have a free event special event that I'm holding for my customers that hit that mark. So it's a celebration celebration. I did this last year, we hold it virtually. So there's a Facebook group that I put together for those that would like to participate in the Facebook group. And then we do a Zoom card class together. So I mail everything ahead of time to you um, for your class. And of course, everything's recorded. So if you can't join us live, that is fine. You still get to participate in all the fun. So I hope you guys will consider joining me for that as well. Oh, Ginger, yes, yes, good, 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 good. Yeah, I goof all the time as well. And you know, I don't try to hide that because I think that's just part of the world that we live in. And um, if, if we can salvage it and, and still make it look pretty, then great. If you can't, you gotta throw it away, you gotta throw it away. But you know, we made it work. It's one of those things where I even had myself a note, don't forget to put that layer on because when I designed the card, I did the exact same thing and had to recut the piece. So just happens, it does for sure. All right, so I'll bring back in both these stamp sets so you can see, see them I, one more time and then the beautiful card. And you can see this is the original one and then the one I did today. So the color's coming out a little bit darker today. So part of that could be um, 
this one's been dry for weeks and this one is freshly stamped and might have a little more drying time. It could also be because I re-inked my ink pad since I stamped the original one. So we got both of those things going on. So, all right, you guys have a wonderful week and I appreciate you joining me. If you enjoyed this project, share it with your crafty friends. And if you're watching on the replay, I sure hope you'll join my, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will catch you next Tuesday, hopefully for some more paper crafting fun. Thanks so much and bye now.